Well, hey there, everyone. Aaron here. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today, we're going to be doing the field test on the Schrade SCHF 26. This is a really awesome blade for a great price. We're talking like $33 is what it's going to cost on Amazon or eBay to get this knife in your hand. And it's got just got a lot of things going for it. It's tough. It's durable. It's got a really good just overall design and geometry on not only the edge and the blade, but also the ergonomics of the handle overall have no real complaints with it. So uh, let's go ahead. I'll give you a few specs and then we will begin to just use this blade and begin to do a bunch of different tasks with it. And so you can see what this knife is capable of. And uh, I think when, as we come close to when we wrap up the video, you'll see that this is definitely worth uh, a purchase when you're on a budget and you're looking for a real tough blade to either do survival tasks, bushcraft tasks, uh, you know, bug out bag, uh, you know, uh, tactical if you need to. I mean, this thing has a lot of stuff really going for it. And again, it's just such a reasonable price. So let's go ahead, look at the specs and get out there and begin to use the SCH F26. All right, guys, let's look at a few basic specs here on the F26. What you have here is 8CR13 MOV steel. That is a Chinese-made steel, but Schrade's doing an amazing job over there with their heat treat. I'm really liking that. For a budget steel, it's it's doing an amazing job. Holds a good edge, and you're able to resharpen it without too much difficulty at all. What you have here is a cutting edge of 5.5 inches, hollow grind. You got an unsharpened swedge up here, so you could definitely be using this not only for wilderness, but also tactical use. I like that a lot. Good tip there, reinforced all the way through, so very strong, capable. The thickness on the spine is 0.23 inches, so almost a quarter inch thick, just a hair thinner. That's awesome with its full tin construction, craton handle scales that are bolted in with the exact same traction you'd get on the SCHF9, but the handle scales are a lot thinner. So I like that they've changed that with this particular blade design over the F9 because that F9 had some really fat handle scales, but I like the overall idea and I like this idea as well. Lanyard hole back there, jimping all over the place as you can see. Very comfortable in my large size hands or large size gloves. Really like that a lot. Weighs in at 13 and a half ounces, so almost a pound's worth of steel you got rocking in your hand when you go out there, and then about two more ounces on the sheath. So basically a pound carry weight, total carry weight. So good overall blade design. Uh, let's get out there and begin to use this thing and see if this knife is really going to hold up to some really hard abuse. All right, so we're going to bust out for the first hard test to kind of baptize this thing into wood processing. We're going to do a little batoning here. The only concern that I have is the unsharpened swedge that this knife has right there. It's still pretty thick swedge, so it's not going to be terrible on the, on the batoning stick that's going to be hitting it, but uh, I could see that being somewhat of a problem. Um, but it is five and a half inches, and it's just a hair shy of a quarter inch thick, so it should go right through this piece of wood. Nice. Yep, real good. Not a lot of scuffing on that coating. Not too much damage on my batoning stick either. There we go. Nice. Nice. Yep. You can see how much that split right there. Boom. Nice. Very good. So, you know, basically anything that like a BK2 could do, this is going to be very similar. BK2 is still going to handle a little bit better because it is just a hair uh, thicker and it doesn't have the unsharpened swedge. But I'm very impressed with the batoning capabilities of this knife. And what's great is, you know, with that unsharpened swedge and more kind of an aggressive tip, you are going to be able to do some stabbing and tactical use, whereas a BK2 knife or something like that would not do as well, or the Schrade SCH F9, you know, doesn't have that unsharpened swedge. So it's not, it, this can basically do both. It can do some definitely batoning and still have the capabilities of being a, a stabbing fighting knife if you needed it to be. One of the great things with this F26 is that it has an amazing tip to be able to stab, get really good penetration, and then I also have great lockup with this set of jimping right here, as well as the really deep finger guard right here, and then more jimping. I mean, I am super locked into place and could absolutely, you know, use this for a budget fighting knife. I mean, if I have to, you know, and defend myself, and it's definitely strong enough with, you know, some of its reinforcement all the way throughout that tip, I can do some of that prying and uh, really 
uh, go to town. So uh, for a budget tactical knife, I mean, this thing with its unsharpened swedge and really good strong tip and good traction plan would be a fantastic uh, blade for those type of tasks. Now the knife has a hollow grind and a really good factory edge. This is the factory edge. I haven't touched it up at all. And you can see I'm getting amazing little curls going here. Very, very nice feather shavings with this blade. And it's very comfortable with that nice set of jimping up here that I can rest my thumb on. The Kraton handle scales are definitely feeling very comfortable in my hand. Uh, the only kind of problem I have now, it's not a hot spot, but this little hump right here uh, is right where my middle finger kind of wants to be. And it's not uncomfortable, it just would be more comfortable if that wasn't there. So uh, it, th that's not a bad thing, and the handle scales are way thinner than say the uh, F9 that we've reviewed here on the channel. So in that regard, uh, this knife is really ergonomic, and overall I have zero zero complaints with it. I just would have liked to see no little hump right here in its design. If it was just a normal, just full swoop, kind of like a BK2, uh, it would have been even more ergonomic, more comfortable. But uh, as it stands, you can absolutely do lots of bushcraft tasks, feather stick making for a fire, you know, those type of things. You can absolutely do that for an extended period of time with this knife. And it's going to hold a good edge and be able to do those really fine uh, shavings very easily with the good fine edge that this knife comes with from the factory. It's really nice. All right, let's check out the rope cutting capabilities on the F26. Very impressive. Love that recurve, really good grind angle, really good edge on this knife. And I can totally, just by almost doing just a push cut, go through this heavy duty nylon, very easy to do with your Schrade F26. So if you are thinking about a utility knife, possibly in the military, law enforcement, and you're on a budget, this would definitely do your rope cutting, seatbelt cutting, that type of stuff, you know, bug out bag for your car. Uh, this will definitely do nylon materials very easily. Okay, let's take a look at the sheath here. Very basic, it's a nylon sheath. On the back here, you have a loop that will do your average belts. It wouldn't do a big fat tactical belt. No molly along the back there. Then it does come with some paracord. I think it's paracord. That looks more like shoe, shoelace. So you could probably use it for either around your leg or a lanyard if you so desire on the knife. Then you have a little tiny pocket. It's kind of a joke, afterthought. You could probably get a little tiny fire starter kit in there. But again, this is low quality nylon and this is all gonna fall apart pretty quick. Then you have one strip of Velcro. It is behind this little hump, so the knife will not come out. That's really good, pretty silent, but it is just a strip of Velcro that pops off. Then you got the molded plastic sheath inside and you pull the sheath out. So uh, barely, I mean just barely, gets the job done. I would highly recommend checking out, if you do really like this knife, checking out the Spec Ops um, modular sheaths that are aftermarket nylon sheaths. I'll put a link in the description below to the review that we did on that. A six inch uh, model should definitely be able to hold this no problem. And I would definitely recommend that to upgrade to if you're really digging the F26 and you wanna use it as your primary knife. Oh man, look at that chopping capability. And a lot of that has to do with that nice belly right there and a little bit of recurve. Awesome. There we go. Real nice, fast work with the F26. Now the handle, you can see there, I'm kind of just grabbing that last backside, has that aggressive jimping. So without gloves, that would be pretty painful for me to chop, but with gloves, feels really good. Still not quite as good as a BK2 in the handle construction, but in the weight and size, I mean, I'm able to chop really well for a knife that's five and a half inches in size. One of the better choppers on the market for this size and weight because of just the blade geometry and the design. It's definitely a good lightweight chopper, the F26. So everybody, uh, in conclusion, when we're talking about the Schrade SEH F26, uh, 
there really is no complaints for me for that price point. I mean, there's just a lot of things going for it. Well designed, it's tough, it's durable. I've really beat on it. I love that black coating. I mean, even after all the batoning that you saw, I mean, this is really holding up well uh, to all the abuse. It's holding a good edge, you know, it's not a super steel, and I wouldn't say it's necessarily as good as 1095, you know, or something like that, but for a budget knife of $33, I mean, this is gonna do almost anything a BK2 could do. In some ways, it'll be even more tactical, you know, with that unsharpened swedge and a little bit better traction plan. Uh, it, the BK2 will still be a little more ergonomic in your hand, uh, you know, and more for bush use, it'll still be a little bit of a better blade, uh, and, you know, it's a high carbon, so it'll definitely kind of, it'll be a little bit of a tougher steel, but uh, for, uh, particularly if you're on a budget and you're just looking for a good fixed blade, this is absolutely it. Um, you know, if you're looking for a budget tactical knife, this would definitely be it. Uh, if you're looking for a budget survival knife, putting it in a bug out bag, maybe you have a really nice knife that you take out with you, you know, on your adventures, but you just want a secondary blade, you know, to throw in the truck or throw in your bug out bag and throw it in the car and never think about it. This would be an amazing purchase and you wouldn't regret it. And I bet you, you could bet your life, I think, on this blade and uh, it would hold up to anything you could basically put uh, a BK2 or the SCH F9 or similar blades like that with that thick a stock and that tough a steel and the good heat treat that Shrade's doing over there. Uh, this will be able to hold anything you throw at it and perform well. So I hope this video, guys, has helped you out. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching this particular episode of Gideon's Tactical. Please subscribe, comment, like the videos, share the videos, and check out our Facebook page. You can find it on the YouTube homepage of Gideon's Tactical. Like our Facebook page where you'll get updates of upcoming videos. Uh, you'll get photos as well as upcoming gear, new gear releases, you know, that products and companies that uh, are released, as well as behind the scenes footage and bloopers that you'll never see make it to YouTube. So thanks so much for watching everyone. Stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.